everyone hope you guys are doing well we are playing small here so and what we're actually gonna do today is I have the next sort of like quest for sharp as night now I didn't do this for any of the other companions but I thought that maybe I would do it for the two companions at the moment um, Azanda and sharp as night so as you like level them up and everything like that you get their rapport up you get their skills up I think it's to do with their skill level and rapport or it's just to do with their skill level I'm not entirely sure but as you play with them and you level them up um, you can get the next sort of like quest there sort of like story background quest yada yada um so he's got the little icon above his head now and we can speak to him and grab the next part of his quest which is what we'll be doing <laughs> um in this video so let's talk to also do you like his outfit that i chose for him now he doesn't like um outfit stations so I did lose a bit of rapport when I went to the outfit station, but this is what I've got him in at the moment. I think it suits kind of well. Um, I'll probably mess around with it at some point later again, uh, but this is what I've got for him at the moment. So let's grab. I need to tell you something. You're the only one I know who's nosy enough to care. It's about my former job broker, Federo. I have been wanting to have a word with him ever since everything went tailed up on my last job. You know, the one where we met. That sounds just like me. <laughs> um, okay, I remember uh, you didn't tell me much about uh, Federer before. He hired me and paid me on time, that's all you need to know. But I haven't heard from him since the Rainilla job. I figured he had some connection to the reformer and my forgotten past. I was thinking we ought to pay him a visit. Hey, where can we find him? He has this little place in Sedrith Mora. If he's there, we can shake him down for information, then get lost before the reformer's mercenaries show up. Whatever happens, I know I'll fare better with you there. Any chance you'd like to tag along? Oh, I like him. I The little like dialogue as well, sometimes that he says when you're just roaming around with him as a companion. It's so nice. <laughs> um, sure, I'll go with you to Federer's place in Sedrith Mora. Probably better that I don't go to the seat of House Telvani and Vardenfell alone when there is someone in the higher ranks obsessed with my capture. I know I don't say it a lot, but I appreciate you sticking with me. Okay, I'm now wondering, I know I said in a, like the video for him that he sounds kind of like very robotic in a way, and I feel like I'm, I'm thinking just in my head that that's sort of deliberate because of his past i don't know because of like um he was enslaved and stuff like that so i'm wondering if that's like sort of deliberate uh but i don't know um okay i have questions before we start let's talk about our partnership uh maybe we have some questions i figured you would i hate sadrath mora so i'm not in any hurry to get there ask away Oh, okay. Uh, have you spent a, a lot of time there? Are you worried about the trap being sent for you? Uh, sorry, set for you. Have you heard... Um, oh, yeah, his sister. Well, not technically sister, but sort of sister. Um, Mevi, the one who made it clear I was a dangerous liability because I was choosing to go after the reformer. The one who likely blames me for the death of her wife. That, Mevi, no, I haven't. Okay. I don't know how to find her, and she couldn't find me if she tried. Probably for the best that it stays that way. You saw how disappointed she was when she realized I wasn't her Kaj Kuje, the brother she knew from before. Okay, do you really think that Mary blames you for Renela's death? Why not? It's probably how I'd feel if it were me. I can't replace Renela, but I can try and fix things my way, our way, if you're still with me. Of course I am. Okay, we'll leave that there. Also, I just want to say, today, as the daily login reward, we got the, um... We got this emote, which I made a short on, and it just makes me laugh so freaking much. <laughs> it makes me laugh. Sorry. It makes me laugh too much. Today was that reward day, so that's cool. Um, let's accept this companion quest and 
go there. Oh, sorry, it's actually in Varnfell. My complete mistake, okay. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> right, now we're in the right place. <laughs> I love this area. Is it this all is like... Bet I'm not the only one who wishes this place would sink into the sea. Hey! I was literally just saying that I quite like it. I do quite like it. I know that, like, this is probably where they enslaved you, but it's really pretty. It is really pretty. I like it. It's like one of my favorite places in Vardenfall. Okay. Um, where are we going? Uh, find him. Gotcha, gotcha. These like little um, jelly lanterns are my favorite things. Okay, wrong way. Maybe he is in. Nice little place right on the water. And get this, Federal doesn't even like to fish. What a waste. <laughs> I think that's how I managed. Place looks abandoned. We're off to a great start. I think that's how I've managed to get his rapport up quite a bit. It's because um, I was fishing a little bit <laughs> with him. Federal only drinks sugary Sujama cocktails. The wine bottles can be his. Okay. Those are rags by Federal standards. Not his style at all. Oh, I hate that I know that. Hey, who are you? Here's our wine drinker. I can smell it on her. Where's Federo? Who are you? I'm Federo's betrothed. Leave now before I call the guards. <laughs> right, and I'm Lady Mara, here to bless your union. Who are you really? Look, I don't want any trouble. Federal is a good enough sort. He wouldn't mind that I've holed up here for so long, honest. Because, um, we were engaged to be married. As you can see, losing him has made me take to drinking. Oh, how I miss him. What? Where is Federal? Oh, oh, he's dead, I'm afraid. Killed by some mercenary called Sharpest Knife. Just brutal. <coughs> Nasty business. Tragic, really. I'm heartbroken. We were gonna get married, you know. But he told me that since he's dead, I can keep the house. He told you because he's... Okay, how did Federer tell you? Um, uh, sorry, tell that to you if he's dead. <laughs> Good question. Look, Federo just told me to say that to anyone who came asking after him. He's a good guy, really. He said he was meeting someone who was going to keep him safe. You're not trying to hurt him, are you? Uh, he has some information we need, that's all. Oh, oh, information. Well, this seems harmless enough to me. <laughs> he had me seek passage to East March for him. He paid me in wine to do it. Let slip, he was headed to Tonk Tonker, twin Twinkler, um, Tinkerer, uh, Tobin's workshop, I think. Does that help? <laughs> I love that okay it's a start thanks you two are a lot more friendly than the mercenaries that came around looking for Fedro a while back of course when they woke me and dragged me out of bed I was nearly sober I think anyway they haven't been back since <laughs> mercenaries hired by a client of his I think didn't sound too happy with him and they weren't too happy with me after I hurled all over the one holding me <laughs> Lot easier to lie when you're sober, but where's the fun in that? Okay, how do you actually know Federer? Oh, we're just friends. Drinking bodies, really. I think he always had a thing for one of his mercenaries. Told me about him once, but you know, I forget. I'll set you up with him if you like. He's a great guy, really. Gave me his house. <laughs> I, I love this quest. Okay, uh, where did you say he went again? Toby's. No, that's not right. Tinkerer Tobin's workshop. East March. Oh, bundle up if that's where you're headed. I hear it's cold there this time of year. Or every time of year, I suppose. <laughs> okay. So, 
Federer's not just a coward, but a liar, too. As if I cared about him enough to track him down and kill him. He should be so lucky. The elf is too drunk for me to understand most of her story. What did you get out of her? Uh, she said Federer was headed to East March to meet someone. Right. But who? And why? East March, of all places. Federer wasn't stupid. He'd know I'd see through a cover story as fake as this wine drinker being his betrothed, and he knows how good a tracker I am. Why leave such an obvious loose end? Maybe the cover story wasn't meant to fool you. Maybe he's running from the reformer. I suppose he'd be in trouble if he didn't make every effort to hand me over to the reformer. I just can't imagine why he'd do that for me. The place the elf mentioned is west of Cragwallow, right on the hot springs. Ugh. Um, okay, let's see if he's still there. East March of all places, the armpit of Skyrim. Aww. Federal must be really desperate to hole up at this Tinker or Tobin's place. I'm sure he's just miserable. You don't like Skyrim? I don't mind the endless tracks of ice and snow, but East March has that rotten egg smell from all the <laughs> hot springs. Makes me want to gag. Besides that, the Nords of Windhelm are a bit chipper for my taste. Otherwise, no strong opinions. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's been a while since Federer fled. Do you think he'll still be there? I'd be surprised if he were. Like you said, he was meeting someone. If we have to do more tracking, that's fine by me. I'm good at that. I can't picture him staying in the wilds of Skyrim for long, though. He's what I'd call an indoor elf. You seem to know a bit more about him than you let on before. When I say he asked me to drink with him once or twice, I might have agreed once or twice. Easier to think of him not as a friend if he happened to sell me out to the reformer. Hey, you think he'd do that? I did, but I'm beginning to rethink that theory. I'm not going to say I was wrong until I actually am, and probably not even then. Are you done with the questions? We have an armpit to get to. <laughs> like that, okay. Okay, let's let's go to this armpit. Um, where are we going? He did say East March, so... Oh! Oh, it's a workshop. Oh, okay, so it's like a crafting area. Okay, okay let's go here. Okay, let's ride there because it'll be easier. I also put him on that mount because I feel like it suits him. Anyway. <laughs> I'm sure that's so interesting. Just an open workshop. Hello? Who's there? Please don't be another bear. Well, look who it is. Federal. I thought one of your mercs took you out. Sharp? Please. I didn't reveal anything to the reformer about Sharp. I just ran. Sharp never mentioned being a former Telvani slave. On the souls of my ancestors. I didn't know. I'd never have put him on the job if I had. I swear. Sharp didn't know either. We're trying to track down the reformer. What can you tell us about him? Track him down? What, to kill him? Oh, I suppose someone has to. You really think you can? Listen, I had plans to blackmail the reformer before I've realized how stupid that would be. The cache of information can be yours and Sharp's. For a price. For a price? What do you want? Not what I want, but what I need. A new life. New name, new identity, new clothes. I heard there's a document forger in the Adept's retreat in Windhelm. Work out a deal, then meet me in the Outlaw's Refuge. I'll tell you where I buried the cache. Okay, he said Windhelm, but that says Whiterun. Um, we'll see what we can do. Please hurry, I'm really not built for this climate. I just need passable documents and some clothing that doesn't make me look quite so Telvani. Then I could be on my way. Remember, I'll meet you in the Windhelm Outlaws Refuge after, alright? Okay, why did you have, um... Uh, why did you have her tell people that Sharp killed you? Oh, that! I thought it'd make Sharp seem dangerous and unpredictable. I thought it'd throw the Reformer off his scent, and mine. And I thought maybe the Reformer would be afraid that Sharp was coming for him next. And look, now he is. Uh, did the Reformer offer you anything to turn in Sharp? Of course he did. Gold, power, prestige. 
He practically sounded like a game of tribute. It'd have been so easy, and I'd be living like a king right now if I had. Why didn't you? Turn over my best mercenary? I couldn't live with myself if I did that. Only got as far as I did on the peninsula because of Sharp. I might have called him my friend if he were the type to make friends. Speaking of, who are you exactly? I'm Sharp's friend. <laughs> we met when you put him on the Renilla job. Huh. Well, good you came along, or we'd both probably be a lot worse off. You know the reformer is obsessed with Sharp, right? He won't kill Sharp, but I'm sure he'll cut down anyone else who stands in his way. Just be careful. Okay. New clothes. You're shameless. Come on, Sharp. I've been good to you, haven't I? If you can't find something nice, at least make sure it's warm. Please hurry. Oh gosh, I'm... sorry, wrong, wrong person. Federer ran instead of trying to turn me over to the reformer. I didn't expect that from anyone, let alone someone like him. We'll see how reliable this forger is in Adept's retreat. As for clothing, I have no idea what we're going to do. Do you trust uh, Federer to give us the information we're after? It's probably not going to be much. He gave up on using it as blackmail, after all. He's clearly scared for his life. Maybe helping him isn't the worst thing. But I say we don't go out of our way to set him up for a life of luxury. Okay, uh, you sure there is someone who can get us what Federer wants at the Adepts Retreat? It wouldn't have been my first place to look either, but I guess a truly skilled forger could hide in plain sight. If that's what Federer heard, let's follow his lead. He's been here longer than we have, I suppose. It's the clothes I'm worried about. Are you worried you'll disappoint Federer with your selection? Please. Like I care. <laughs> but... I owe him for not giving me up when he could have. I'll leave the selecting to you since you clearly have more particular taste than I do. Federo will probably appreciate your judgment better than mine. Okay, I mean, he does hate the alpha station. Uh, if you say so, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, okie dokes. Where are we going now? Uh, that's, okay, so the Outlaw's Refuge inside here. Alright, let's go. I let's can't go, promise. let's go. I'm not crying, I've got something in both my eyes. <laughs> I do like the Nords. I forgot what I'm drinking. Okie sure. dokie. Stranger. What are you doing here? Oh. I could ask you the same... Oh, no. You're the forgery expert, aren't you? Keep your voice down. Oh, she is. Okay. After I saw Dimicator's safety, I was lost. I remembered that Rainilla and I came to Windhelm on a holiday once. I just sort of drifted here. But I tried to keep my head down. I must not have hidden well enough. How did you manage to find me? We weren't looking for you exactly. We're looking to get a forged identity and we're pointed here. Rainilla worked hard to bring light to all corners of the world. Now that she's gone, everything feels cast in shadow. Like I've lost my purpose. But forgery is something I know. Something I did for her. This new identity, is it for Sharp? Uh, new? No, it's for... It's for Federer Indrill. He used to broker jobs from the Reformer. I know that name. Rainilla used to keep tabs on him. She wrote him, pleading for him to defect as an abolitionist. I was convinced he was a lost cause, but Rainilla didn't believe in lost causes. He's really had a change of heart, has he? Uh, he refused to give up Sharp, and he's agreed to give us all the information he has on the Reformer. Rainilla's work, then. It wasn't for nothing. A spark still remains. Her mission didn't have to die with her. I'll draft up a plausible identity. Something that will allow Federo unrestricted travel, wherever he might wish to go. Okay, thank you, Mavie. Appreciate it. Our contact wanted new clothing, too. Any idea where we might find something easy on the coin purse? There's a tailor in the armorer's place across town. Standard prices, though. I'd help if I had coin to spare. Okay, by order of the Mages Guild, this document gives uh, Bilvis 
Sil Slavel. Uh, okay, courier from the antiquarian circle. Express permission for fair and free travel across all lands. Holds um, and borders that have granted access to the member members of the Mages Guild. The holder of this document agrees to be responsible for any fees. Okay. In the event that an antiquity is damaged during transport, the antiquity's value in gold will be deducted from the courier's pay. Uh, this document offers no promise of payment in the event that the holder is found dead. Okay, cool. She made that really quick. <laughs> right, let's go. <laughs> Um, okay, we need to Greetings to you both. get some clothes. It's a good job, but I'm a little bit rich. I can pay for these clothes. So Filgor poisoned his own brother, and he expects the Nords to follow him. He's more foolish than I imagined. I can still remember. I bet I have another one. Hey there. Welcome. Okay. Closing here. Free to anyone free who can take it off for my the skull hands. King. Doesn't get cheaper than free. Let's take a look. Okay. Why is he just standing outside, though? Can we speak to him? I met this Imperial at the Sober Nord. He'd come all the way from the Telvani Peninsula to sell some tonic of his. Uh, I really shouldn't have let him drag me outside the city to show me the power of his miracle elixir, but uh, we've been drinking, you see. Okay, what did he do? He chugged a bottle of that elixir, then took a run at the first giant we came across. Never seen a body fly like that before. <laughs> Boram told me to get rid of the man's belongings at the inn, but the armorers won't take his clothes. What's wrong with them? Even with a good wash, it all still smells like that strange elixir of his, like columbine flour, spoiled cabbage, and burnt hair. Can't decide whether to burn the clothes or bury them. You're welcome to take them off my hands. Okay, we'll do that, thanks. No, I sorry, I don't wanna... Ugh, you carry that. I'll try to keep up wind of you. Okay. <laughs> Right, we gotta go to the Outlaw's Refuge now, I think it was. Let's take a shortcut like we always do. What? That doesn't even make sense. No. What's Ooh. probable? That I'm going to get drunk? That's a given fact. <laughs> the Nords are great. The Nords are great. I think they like I I like the characters, but um, or the race, whatever. But I don't like playing as them. I do have a actually I have two Nords now, one male, one female. Windhelm Outlaws Refuge. Do I have anyone here who wants to kill me? <laughs> I don't think so. The male I don't really play as, uh, but the female Nord I have is going to be my PVP. A warden. Two deer ran right through the camp after you left. I made all haste to get here after that. Two deer. I'm sure you and Sharp both find it very funny that I stayed out in the wilds, jumping at every noise, thinking it might be the last thing I hear. My poor nerves. But I'm ready to put all this behind me. Did you get what I asked for? Uh, here's your new identity and your new clothes now. Uh, can you tell us where you buried the cash? This is really the best you could do. I'm a courier for the Antiquarian Circle. This document makes it sound awfully dangerous. <laughs> What's that smell? Don't tell me that's coming from the clothes. You did remember to bring me clothes, didn't you? <laughs> if you don't like what we brought, uh, we'll take it back. No, I'll take it. Sharp was always my best man for the job. If he says this was the most you could do, I believe it. I guess being a courier isn't so bad, but the smell on these clothes... It, uh, never mind. It's nothing a good wash can't fix. Okay, we got you what you asked for. Where's the cash buried? I'll mark the location on your map. It's not far from here. You're really going after the reformer, aren't you? I'd wish you luck, but I think Sharp's used up all that in finding you. I'm going to need luck more than you two. Courier? <laughs> Good luck. 
So, after you've fished these clothes out of the latrine that you found them in, what'd you do? Dry them over a bonfire of mammoth fur? The style I'll just have to work with, but the smell! Okay, um, I have some questions before we go. Maybe I could answer them over drinks? I've grown quite partial to the sweet mead they drink here. Oh, uh, never mind. Sharp's giving me a look. Ask him be on your way then. Okay, uh, why bury the cash? Why did you get involved? All of the places in the Tamriel you choose. Um, why did you get involved? I don't know. He seemed nice. He had these grand new ideas, powerful connections, things that mattered to me. Just goes to show, first impressions aren't everything. But you know that. You're friends with Sharp. No <laughs> sort of new ideas? He had it in his head that he could eliminate the need for slavery in all of Morrowind, if you can believe it. He was very protective of his methods, of course. Typical Telvanni. But he said the slaves he had were a necessity to perfect the process. What does that mean? I haven't the faintest idea. And hopefully I'll never have to think about such things again. I'm glad to get away from all this. The reformer really is unhinged. You'll see what I mean when you find that cash. Okay, right. I'm gonna leave it here. Sharp. How could you, of all people, have picked clothes that smell this terrible? Look, nothing will want to attack and eat you when you smell like that. Makes your new job a whole lot easier. Okay. Don't know about you, but I'm ready to see what's in that cash. Uh, okay, do you think it's going to be alright? Before all this, he was a pampered Telvanni rank climber. That is not an illness you recover from overnight. We handled Rainilla's unfinished business with him, and now we're on to more important things. It's up to him how he moves forward now. Okay, um, are you going to keep in touch with him? I haven't decided. It might be too dangerous, you know. Probably safer for him to make a clean break from all this. But saying that makes me wonder if Rainilla thought the same about me. If that's why she didn't try harder to find me. Uh, even if it's more dangerous, I think Fedro would probably like it if you stayed in touch. He does seem the type to get lonely very easily, and he acts all put upon when he does. Maybe I will then, for his sake, and only because you suggested it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, right. So, where has he hidden this? Over there. Let's travel to this way, shall I don't really have any suited clothes for this area. Federal marked the map between those two boulders, guessing it's just under the snow. Okay, right. Do we have to like turf it all out of the chest? Uh, I used to be like you. I told myself that I could swallow my disgust at the represent. Um... Okay, so this must be a letter from him. Things I was asked to do under the Magisters of House Tavani, but things would be different when I was one of them. Heed my words, the only difference between slaves and rank climbers like us is the slaves have inherent value. When one of us dies, another w is willing uh, and eager to take our place. And unlike slaves, we have the choice to leave. Okay. Uh... Tobin's with the locals north of Wit's daughter, uh, you know the site. Send no um, correspondence in due time. I will be by to help you find a new life of dignity and prosperity. Okay. Um, let's discuss this mercenary in person. Pull him off his uh, Rainilla job, but promise him payment. He will answer your summons with a little suspicion. Yes, this letter will reach you before I do, but do keep my coming a secret from this sharp as night. I cannot help but wonder if he remembers me, if he is uh, scales still um, that dusky midnight blue, if his crest is still glossy with the black feathers, some immutable part of him yearns to be in my possession again i just know it why else would he keep the only name i know him by okay he will know me he must know me he, he will see me he will learn my name and he will remember my uh see i i okay endeavor to tame his 
a uniquely defiant nature. I very much look forward to seeing the look on his face when we meet again. Okay. Do everything in your power to arrange this for me. Uh, meet soon. Okay. And then... Last one. Uh, do me a favour. Never hire me on for this client again. I don't mind the work itself, but all of this cloak and dagger nonsense isn't worth the rate I'm getting. It's already a secret uh, lair with a secret door near the bridge to some dwarven ruins. Tell your other uh, contractors I'm leaving the key by the door itself so it's not such a pain in the behind for them to find. Alright, I'm done uh, groping for now. I'll be staying a night or two in... Okay, let me know if there's anything else. Okay. Right, let's go talk over here. Find anything worthwhile. Or do we need to go back and shake down Federo for something better? <laughs> the first letter hints at a location of a secret lair and a, uh, a key to it. And a, I don't know how to say that. Nisus. Well, that's okay. not too far. Let's see. Bridge. Dwemer Ruins. I think I know the place. No hope of pronouncing it, though. Uh, I'll mark it on your map and we can skulk around for a way inside. Anything worthwhile in the other notes? Says, sounds like me. I can't pronounce shit. <laughs> uh, the next one was signed, but I think it's from Rainilla. Oh, sorry, it wasn't signed. Rainilla, let me see. Hmm, I think you're right. She was the reason that Federo had somewhere safe to go when he needed to run. He protected me because she gave him a way to do so. The last note must it be from the reformer. He's signed it with his real name. Hello, Sandoval Ulris. Let's see what a piece of work you are. Uh, you all right? Fine. He's a crazy Telvani, but we knew that, right? Well, we have the approximate location of this lab of his and a key to get inside. Sandoval wants to meet in person so badly. Let's see if he's there. Okay, if you're sure, let's head to Varnafor and find that key. Okay, dokie. Over here. Oh yeah, because this is the town place. Let's go outside my little house. I've got to redecorate this one. I started it, but I haven't finished it yet. <laughs> Here's the bridge. Let's talk. Oh, but I want to find the key first. Let's see. Nisus nearby. Check. Bridge to some dwarven ruins. Check. Secret door. Could be anywhere between here and the coast. Look, instead of wasting our time searching, I have something that might help us. Oh, what's that? I've got this little tracking spell I've been working on in my free time. Should be able to pick up on the trail we're looking for. I'll need to concentrate on Federal's letter as I'm casting the spell. You'll watch my back while I do that, right? I can do that. Let's try out your spell. Give me a moment. Never tried this with someone watching me before. <laughs> it's always awkward, isn't it? Oh, cute! There we go. Quick, follow it. Oh, it's cute. Oh no, no, no. Okay, wait. Come on, little one. Keep going. Now he's blue guar. It's so cute. <laughs> Reminds me of what I think it's called a tapia, the like ant eater. What are they actually called? I do not know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. Oh, they sound like freaking velociraptors. Is it here? No. A Daedric shrine. Wonderful.
Right. Nothing left to do but go inside. This place looks deserted, but I don't feel like we're alone. There's something here. Oh no! Argonians. Oh, this one was human. Let's pillage all of his stuff because he's not going to need it anymore, I'm sure. Procedure room? I don't like the sound of that! Is there an Argonian in here? There is, I believe that is, yeah. Oh no, okay. Uh, I've finally done it. The metal uh, turinide, um okay. With the right application of heat and magic, the bonding causes a more irritation to Argon Argonian scales than to salamanders. Still, when under my influence, the subjects don't complain of inflammation or irritation whatsoever. Under my latest series, my subjects are completely uh, suggestible, bright and eager to carry out my every instruction. My will is their desire. They seem lucid and when uh, deattuned, return to themselves with a gap in memory as if no time has passed at all. Oh my gosh! Okay, there will be no more breaking through like Sharp did with his exemplary willpower and resistance. When I find him and attune him once- Oh, I hope this doesn't happen. His memories will return and he will remain as sharp as ever, uh, minus his irritating desire for freedom. Then again, that was always what made him special to me. I owe his uh, breakthrough- I owe this breakthrough to him. After all, if only he were here for me to thank in person. Okay. Um... His defiance always served as an accelerant to the fire of my inspiration, a whetstone to the blade of my endeavours. Many times I have imagined our reunion, I am certain he must be in want of his memories, why else would he not have sought me out and tried to kill me? That he was always far more curious, far more watchful than he liked to let on works to my advantage. He may deny that he misses what has been taken from him, but I can be the promise of his wholesomeness. Okay. What is this Don't like metal? that. When Don't touch it. When I came it. in here, I could almost feel it. Don't touch it. What Please don't the... touch it. No, Sharp! Sharp? After all this time, where are you? Who's that with you? Stay back! You touched the Tyranite and I felt it, Sharp. I felt it. You're still attuned. Do you know what this means? Remember me. Remember us. All I remember is wanting to kill you. That's right. And you're so close to being mine once more. Just a moment longer. The metal! Break the connection! We need to get out of here. Are you okay? I told you not to touch it, but you touched it. Now you only got yourself to play. <laughs> okay. Right, let's talk. Uh, I hope we don't get attacked here at any point. I don't think we will. Sonderfell, Ulris. There is a bitterness to his name that I didn't taste before. I hated him, I'm sure of it. And his lab was deserted, so we have nothing else to go on. And what was that medal? Have you ever seen anything like it before? It's called a Tyranny Calyx. Um, he has been using it on his slaves. What happened when you touched it? The reformer had a hold of me through that metal somehow, like he was trying to reunite me with a piece of myself that was trapped inside. It was a glimpse of my forgotten life, my memories. I'm not making any sense, am I? 
Uh, take a moment. You've been through a lot. I'll be fine. I just need to shake it off. Wasn't expecting him to just grab me like that. That journal you found, was it more of what we found in the letter? Uh, yes, but he also wrote about perfecting the Tyranite attunement some time after your escape. Right. It's a connection that goes both ways. If we can find more of that metal, that Tyranite calx, there may be a way we can exploit it. That's it. If we find more, we can use it to track down Sandoval somehow. I hope we don't get attacked. Uh, we might need help with that. I'll reach out oh, to Oh, nice. She sounded like she wanted to help us more, right? I'm not used to having people in my corner, aside from you. We're going to do this, no matter what it takes. We're going to be the reformer's end. Okay, I like that. Okay, we also got a... His Angler's Bounty. I don't know what that is, but complete. Glad you were there to smash that stuff, that Tyranite Calx. Why can't these wizards just name things in a normal way? <laughs> okay, now we get attacked. <laughs> okay, right. So I will definitely work on obviously leveling him up more. Let's use this. Um, a paper wrapped parcel of fresh fish. Uh, okay, bait to catch more fish and a recipe scavenged by um, Sharp to make use of all those fish. Uh, I already know this one, but thank you. That's very kind of you. I don't like destroy it because he doesn't like it when you destroy things. Um, so Glad yeah, let's check his tonight. stuff. Uh, Sharp would rather work with you than work alone. I like that. That's so cute. Well, he's only level four at the moment, so still got a bit to go. Again, I'm not entirely sure if it's leveling them up or their rapport or a little bit of both that contribute to them to like their main, their sort of main story quest, I guess is what I'm getting at. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely be working on this and I'll be working on the XP. I feel like the XP you need to get for them is sometimes a bit a bit too high. Um, but it is universal over all the characters, I'm pretty confident. Um... But yeah, so that was Sharp's little um, companion quest or like the second part of his companion quest, should I say. So I will leave this video here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button, leave comments, don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Consider becoming a channel member or if you would like support in a different way. There's a couple of different options in the description. Absolutely not necessary, but it is really, really appreciated um, if you do. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. Bye.